It's been two years since Operation Icebridge has flown over the West Antarctic Ice Sheet, one of the fastest melting large masses of ice on the planet. Back then, the mission was based out of Punta Arenas, Chile, a great location if you want to hit the West Antarctic and other science targets near the Antarctic Peninsula. But for the first time last fall, the mission moved its field site to the even more remote McMurdo Station, where they completed the most comprehensive, long-range surveys ever performed of several areas. For many on the team, it was a new experience to actually touch down in Antarctica and see firsthand things like Weddell seals basking in the sun, gigantic pressure ridges of sea ice formed by the ice pushing against the coast, the active volcano Mount Erebus, and Scott's cabin with 100-year-old seal flippers mummified by the dry Antarctic air. But front and center on the team's mind was the new complexity of this year's challenge. There were new weather patterns to decipher, new training exercises to prepare the pilots for landing on a floating sea ice runway, and a host of new regulations for operating out of McMurdo. Adding to the challenge, a runway that was starting to melt away as the summer approached. Even with these challenges and a shortened schedule, the team was able to measure the sea ice of the Ross Sea along with land ice on the Seipel Coast, the Dome Sea Lake Vostok region, along the trans Antarctic Mountains, and over Victoria Land. Icebridge demonstrated it could operate out of this new region and plans to go back in 2015. But the network of NASA, university, and international partners who use Icebridge data also want to see how things have changed in the Antarctic Peninsula, on the Rani Ice Shelf, and in the West Antarctic Ice Sheet so they're returning to operate out of Punta Arenas, Chile once again this year. <laughs>